already dozens of people here at Frontier Field. You can hear the music going on behind me. There's food, there's craft vendors all set up to celebrate the Puerto Rican culture. Now, I do want to introduce you to one vendor I had the pleasure of meeting earlier today. His stand is over there in that area on that side of Frontier Field. His name is Jose Harrison, and he's been making Puerto Rican souvenirs for the last 25 years. He's actually a native from Puerto Rico and runs the stand with his family. He said he got started in Syracuse after the Spanish population there grew. The first time I did reach out to them, I called them, I came in to try it out. And like I said at the beginning, everybody's so nice, so respectful. It's, it's like a family. They treat me so well that no matter what, I'm always here. This is his 12th year at the festival, a place he says feels like home. First time I came here, people, we were just meeting you know, new people. Second year, they already know me. Now, it's, a, it's, like a, it's like a family. People come, they hug us, they kiss us, they smile with us. Jose says he has never had a problem at the festival and comes back every year. Organizers say it's people like him that make the festival so big. Um, we, we have people come here that are not Puerto Rican, and we love to have that um, because it gives us the opportunity to showcase who we are and you know, our flag, our music, our food, um, and all that good stuff. For Jose, sharing the culture is a way to make new friends. And like I said, a lot of the products we carry, we make, and that's even a better feeling that we can satisfy the customer, satisfy the Puerto Rican, put a smile on their face, and make them feel like home. I mean, there are lots of people here already at Frontier Field. You can see people setting up their tents and their chairs, getting that close, as close to the stage as they can. Headliners are getting ready to take the stage, and the festival will be going on tonight until dark. Reporting in Rochester for News 8, I'm Atiyah Collins. Back to you, John. I'll tell you, Atiyah, you've got the best job in Rochester. Nice work out there.